This is Dawlish, one of the interesting places around Tor Bay. Having the little river Daw running in its midst, it has been wisely controlled so that it runs into the sea as a series of small waterfalls with lawns and flower beds on either side. Tynmouth is a neighbouring resort to Dawlish. Here is the harbour and quay built in 1831 for shipping Dartmoor granite to rebuild London Bridge. Nature and man have worked together designing Torquay and have filled it with splendour. It has glorious Devon all about it at the back of this beautiful bay. As seen from the bay, the effect of the buildings rising above one another is delightful. The town is the creation of the last hundred years and set among a profusion of luxuriant flowers and shrubs. The beach at Babacombe is far below the top of a steep cliff. You can walk down to the beach or, if less energetic, use the cliff railway. Keats thought it was the finest place he had seen in the southwest when he stopped here for refreshment. There are no better pebbles anywhere, and no better pebbly beach. The cliffs north and south of here contain fossils, which suggest that the sea was once warm enough for corals. Returning to the top of the cliff, we continue our journey to Anstey's Cove. Just off the mainland is Thatcher Rock, a bird sanctuary. Hope's Nose is a headland where the waves have cut an arch known as London Bridge.
Cockington. Everybody knows it. But it's one of Devon's enchanting places which is rapidly losing its enchantment. Its famous thatched forge is open to all and those who wish may take away a horseshoe. The church stands in the grounds of Cockington Court. It's crowned by a mainly 13th century tower, the chapel having been built between 1070 and 1080. On Saturday, February 13th, 1943, the church was damaged by a bomb blast. Part of the roof fell in, revealing Death Watch Beetle. An exact replica was completed by July 1950. Buckfast had an abbey before England had a king. Long derelict, a band of Benedictine monks recently rebuilt it. They dwell in the city that they have builded, the city of God from evil shielded. Just outside Totnes is Berry Pomeroy Castle. The first view is of a medieval gateway between flanking towers. From the gateway to the left a curtain wall runs backwards for a few yards to a tall turret beyond which can be seen a rectangular mast. To the right is also a curtain wall which ends in a partly demolished tower. Above the gateway are the 40 foot flanking towers. Notice the stonework resting on an arch two thirds of the way up the tower. Here are the portcullis grooves. Ascending the circular stairway to the rampart wall, you can imagine the great strength of this once moated, banked, curtain walled and ramparted southern frontage. Stoke Gabriel is a place of narrow ways looking down on the banks of the River Dart as it widens out to sea. The church was renewed in the 15th century and given a screen and pulpit. Many of the interesting places around Tor Bay cannot be included here, but to end the film are some picturesque scenes of dark meat.